non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is a condition in which there is accumulation of excess fat in the liver, not due to excessive alcohol consumption. It's a very common condition in clinical practice. It's affect about 20% of the world population. We care about fatty liver disease because it is one of the problems which can cause liver failure, liver cancer, and the need for liver transplantation. The presence of extra, extra fat in the liver can cause chronic irritation of the liver cells and subsequently can cause further liver damage. There are three common causes of fatty liver disease being overweight, patients with diabetes, and also patients with high cholesterol. Keeping in mind, some people with normal body weight can have fatty liver disease. The increasing epidemic of fatty liver disease is, has been recently attributed to uh, overweight and the high prevalence of diabetes. Fatty liver disease used to be a very rare condition in children. However, recently, with the increasing problem of obesity in children, fatty liver disease become affecting about 10% of children. Early in the course of the disease, many patients have no symptoms. However, when the scarring and the inflammation of the liver progress, many patients start to complain of problems related to enlargement of the liver or fatigue. If complications happened from fatty liver disease, such as cirrhosis or complete scarring, patient can have problems with bleeding and symptoms of other complications of liver disease, such as liver cancer. When we do a blood test for a patient with fatty liver disease, many patients will have elevated liver function test. Imaging modalities can be very helpful for diagnosis of fatty liver disease, such as ultrasound, CT scan, MRI, or fibro scan. Occasionally, patients might need liver biopsy to assess the significance of the damage in their liver. Fatty liver disease in early stage could be completely reversible. However, if patient continue to have excess fat in their liver, this can um, lead to a complete scarring of the liver or what we call cirrhosis and uh, subsequently liver failure and its complications such as liver cancer and the need for liver transplantations. Fatty liver disease become a more common indication for liver transplantation globally. There is no specific treatment for fatty liver disease. The most important step is to control the risk factors for liver disease, such as high cholesterol and controlling the blood sugar and lose weight for uh, obese uh, individuals. There are recent studies which confirm clearly the benefit of coffee for patients with liver disease. There have been some suggestions that drinking two or three cups of coffee a day will prevent liver cancer and liver scarring in patients with fatty liver disease. The most important food to avoid for patients with fatty liver disease are food rich in refined sugars, such as bread, rice, potatoes, and corn. Also, we recommend for patients to uh, consume lean meat and increase the amount of uh, vegetables uh, and salads in their diet. At Johns Hopkins Hospital, we are conducting several clinical trials looking for a novel therapy for fatty liver disease. We are using tablets form for specific drugs which alter the pathophysiology 
of fatty liver disease. What we are hoping is to prevent the accumulation of fat in the liver, to reduce the amount of scarring in the liver from fatty liver disease, and eventually preventing liver cancer and liver failure.